4,819 days ago today, I was in a room. Business was really my first love. It was the first thing I gave everything to and the first thing that gave everything to me. 27-year-old speaker and author Scott Ginsberg has no problem finding people to talk to. So the two of us were absolutely faithful to each other. We were inseparable. You know how business owners get. You, you can't tell where the company ends and the person begins. But I, I found something that I loved and it loved me right back. So of course, I gave it everything. Isn't that how soulmates are supposed to work? It certainly seemed romantic and noble and meaningful at the time. Like I had this idea of treating my business as my first priority and, and my number one thing. It, it appealed to my sense of duty. Well, it certainly seemed romantic and noble and meaningful at the time. I had this idea of treating my business as my first priority, like my number one thing. And it really appealed to my sense of duty. It stoked my work fire. I, I felt heroic. But I figured out that there's this danger in throwing your heart into something, but letting that thing become all that you stand for. You know, I started giving more and more pieces of myself to my work and to my career, and not to my relationships. And so meanwhile, the people that I cared about the most, they were left with crumbs, uh, emotional leftovers, the remains of the day that trickled down my collar. And so I, I couldn't really be the friend or the family member that they needed for quite a long period of time. So I figured out that it's okay to fall in love with your work, but don't make it your soulmate. Because we're not supposed to be one thing in life and we're not supposed to love one thing either. The first time I played music in the tunnel, I was way back in the corner. I was almost sort of facing the wall. It was very antisocial Blair Witch, but I, I was too nervous because the acoustics were so loud, I, I just wasn't ready to do it yet. And so I'm kind of playing a couple songs in the corner, and this guy comes up to me, he says, wow, this sounds incredible. I said, oh, thanks, yeah, aren't the acoustics great? And he said, you know, if you play in the middle of the tunnel, that will probably sound even better. I'm an audio engineer, and I know this stuff. You know what, you're right. And so I came back the next week and I sucked it up and I went right in the middle. And it was a vulnerable position because I'd never played facing out, but I just opened myself to it. And that first day, and I remember the first song I played and singing it in the tunnel, I was almost noticing it as I was singing and playing it. It was this weird moment, but that was the day I said, I, I'm coming back here every week. I, I'm gonna shoot a movie here. This is my moment of conception. Hold on to my gift too tight Hammer in work nail all my life And all right And my fingers are They are fighting back Keeping all my doors to crazy crack Truth, she turns up in the strangest place. Hey, hey. and not an adjective right before my name, but it's not something I can call for. It's not something.
And for those who like, like their beauty, he's strange. Lots unruly, and your duty's tame. And I'll rock you like just a gentle rain. And I've given your memories worth today. Thank you.